Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Let's talk about how to auto-block schedule refresh in Power BI for a particular date of the month. If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. With that, let's check it out. If you will click on the settings option of a Power BI dataset, you can schedule the data refresh by enabling the schedule refresh button from here. And then you can set a daily, weekly of monthly refresh. But once the daily refresh set, there is no way you can stop your refresh for a particular date of the month. And today we will solve this genuine problem in Power BI. Let's do that. All right. This is my SQL Server database, which I am going to import into a data flow. Choose your workspace and then click on New and select Data Flow from these options. To define a new table, select the first option. Since my data source is SQL Server, I will search for my data source. Then you will be required to enter the database credentials including the data gateway if you have on-premise data source like this one. My database name is PBI Helpline. You could browse the tables in this database and select the required one, but I will need to enter the native query. This is important in this particular solution which you will know in a while. Click on Next, and this will take you to the online Power Query Editor associated with Power BI Data Flow. Now I am connected with the same data. Let's click on Save and Apply and keep an appropriate name for this. I will mention as Block Refresh on a particular date. You can keep any name of your choice. Click on Save, and it is very important to refresh your data flow when you are creating it. Otherwise, you will see only metadata information from Power BI Desktop. From Power BI Desktop, click on Get Data and connect with the same data flow. Remember, we are going to solve an unsolved problem in Power BI, so don't skip any step, otherwise you may lose the key point. So from these options, I will select my workspace name and then select my newly created data flow name and the table, which is connected to the SQL Server database. Click on Transform Data which will take you to the Power Query Editor of Power BI Desktop. From here, you are required to copy the entire M code of this query. For that, click on Advanced Editor and copy the code. Now, go back to the data flow, edit the tables, and then click on Get Data and choose Blank Query. Here you need to paste the already copied query from the Power BI Desktop. Remember not to select the data gateway here. This is very important. Click on Next. And if it is asking for configure connection, you can just click OK on the default gateway settings. I don't need to load this particular table, so I will right click and disable the load for this query. If required, I can change the name of this query. For example, I am mentioning as old data. Now I need to apply the main trick of this solution. But before that, let me jump into the Power BI desktop and show you how can you get the dates and the context to work on the next logics. The first function is going to be datetime.localnow. This function will give you the date and time when you will do the dataset refresh. Since I need only date, I can wrap this entire function with datetime.date function to get the date part itself. After doing this, you will see the code will return the date itself. Since I am doing this today, it will return the today's date, which is April 26, 2023. Let me show you one more thing. If I want to know only the start date of the current month, I can use this function date.start of month over the current date. For example, if you want to block the schedule refresh on the every first date of the month, due to some maintenance activity on database, you will need this M code to validate with a refresh date. As that you can see, this is returning the first date of the current month. Now let's go back to the data flow and click on advanced editor of the main query. For my testing, I will mention one condition here. If a given date is equal to the refresh date, which we can get using the function which I explained, which is datetime.date over datetime.local now. For the first check, I am using the current date itself because I want to test the impact right now. Later, I will change this date to the desired blocking date. All right, so if this is same, then I need the old data query, which is not using the gateway and its load is not enabled but it is connected with the same data flow using data flow connector. And if the date is not equal to the refresh date, then it will get connected to the SQL Server database and will fetch the current data. After doing these changes, save the data flow and hit refresh button. You should wait for its refresh to get completed 
before moving to the next step. You can check the refresh status from this place or check the refresh history. Sometimes you may see this error in data refresh, then click on edit and try validating within another date rather than the same date as the refresh date. Because you are required to click continue on this warning, which basically inform you that you are combining data from multiple places. After this, you can again mention the current date again because I want to test the refresh today itself. Save and refresh your data flow. Now I will go to the SQL Server Management Studio and insert some new data, and we'll see whether it is getting the current data or not. So I am writing my insert command, and I will insert seat number 11 for user 11. This table I used for automatic attendance marking system solution. You can check out that amazing video as well, which could be very useful in your Power BI projects. All right, I have inserted one more row, and let me refresh this data flow and see if it gets the data with seat number 11. Depending on the dataset size, you may need to wait for the refresh to get completed. So my data flow refresh is completed, and now I can check if my Power BI data after refresh is showing the newly added row or not. As that you can see, it is still showing the old data, even after refresh. So how did this happen? Let's investigate further. For this, go back again to the data flow, edit the tables, and try refreshing this query of the data flow, which is directly connected to the SQL Server. As that you can see, it is still showing the old data, and we don't see seat number 11. Let's click on Advanced Editor and look into the M code of it. I will now set this date to tomorrow's date, and I will check if it now refreshing for today or not. After changing this date to tomorrow, we can now see the seat number 11 because this time it is connected to the SQL Server. It means our solution is working. And since our block refresh date is tomorrow, today it is getting the data from the SQL Server and tomorrow it will not connect to the database. Even if you will change values, it will still show the last data. Finally, I need to make this date dynamic so that on each defined date of the month it will not refresh and will show the last refresh data. For example, I want to block the scheduled refresh on every first day of the months. So I will use this M code as explained earlier, which returns the first date of the current month. You can mention any other date this way, like last date of the month or any other. Our solution is finally ready. We can now test this inserting other values. It will refresh on each date of the month except first date because at the first step itself it will validate this condition and will return the old data query on every first day of the month. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more such interesting videos in Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.